So let's begin by providing a high-level summary of the results from our study. The concept of the three pillars that are associated with the hydrogen production tax credit have implications that Plug really needed to understand, and that's the purpose of our analysis. If we look at each one of them individually, we'll start with additionality. And it makes renewable power a value chain control point and limits business models. It also has the impact of reducing the benefits of green hydrogen as a source of power flexibility. There are also potential delays in the green hydrogen project development by up to five years or longer. And it also presents the potential for the reduction of 200,000 potential jobs that could have been realized and also the reduction of carbon abatement by about 50%. If we think about the hourly time matching piece, there are increases associated with the production of hydrogen by about $1.30 per kilogram. Not only that, hourly time matching is not yet widely available in all parts of the country, which could also delay deployment. It also has the potential to reduce green hydrogen investment by 65% by 2032, 90% of gross jobs through 2035, green hydrogen demand of 75% by 2040, and the opportunity to get the emissions needed by about 540 million tons of CO2 equivalent of greenhouse gases and 4.2 megagrams per meter squared of particulate matter by 2040. Lastly, strict local geographic matching has the potential for increasing green hydrogen production costs by about a dollar per kilogram. In addition to that, it creates regional winners and losers Regions that have a high abundance of renewable energies are winners, those that don't become losers. And that's explicitly counterproductive to the federal program, particularly the DOE hydrogen hubs. And lastly, it inflates the logistics cost and distribution cost for hydrogen to the end user applications. What's really important is if you now do a combination of hourly time matching and strict local geographic matching, you can get to the point where the cost is higher than the actual tax credit, which will cause many potential hydrogen producers to opt out altogether. But what's most important is that additionality, time matching, and regionality are not included in the legislative language, any legislative intent, or any colloquies associated with the 45V production tax credit. The intent of the production tax credit was to rapidly scale the hydrogen production, the three pillars are not within the legislative intent.